From vivid dreams to special prayers, a Malaysian frontliner doctor based in the UK shared the story of how he was fighting for his life in intensive care due to COVID-19 virus. An oral and maxillofacial surgeon, 47-year-old Dr. Ton Muzamal Wildan, spent almost a month at Queen Elizabeth Hospital in Birmingham. Our correspondent in the UK, Haliza Hashim, reports. On the 5th of April, at the height of COVID-19 cases, UK Prime Minister Boris Johnson, infected by the virus, was admitted to a hospital in London. 190 kilometres away in Birmingham, a Malaysian frontliner, Dr Tun Muzamal Wildan, was also rushed to an intensive care unit due to severe breathing difficulties. Dr Tun had caught high fever and coughs in late March since he was exposed to a COVID-19 patient while working. By the time he arrived at Queen Elizabeth Hospital, Birmingham, his condition has worsened. His breathing was assisted by a mechanical ventilator, followed by tracheostomy. The invasive regime to fight COVID-19 has made him confused and very weak. He spoke about the nightmares he had during the sedation period, which lasted until after he came home. I rasa lepas dua minggu, then when they decided to win off the sedation, saya mula sedar daripada that saya berada di dalam hospital. I think most of the time, sometimes I was confused. Uh, I didn't know what was happening. Um, I, and I thought they were experimenting on me. So there were times when I wanted just to remove my breathing tube. And then uh, the doctor decided to increase my sedation back again to, to keep me calm. Ah, rasa takut tu tak ada, tapi uh, masa I was under sedation, saya dapat vivid dreams and um, you know, feeling that um, I have passed away and and seeing dying people all around me. So it, it wasn't really a pleasant experience when, when I was um, under coma. The former Malay College Kuala Kangsa student came to the UK in 1990 to continue his studies and to work in hospitals. At present, Dr Tun is also a research fellow in head and neck treatment. As of yesterday, there are more than 283,000 cases of COVID-19 in the UK, with a death toll of over 40,000. Dr. Tone has been given three months to recuperate before going back to work. He was touched when he learned that thousands of Malaysians were praying for his recovery. When I was recovering and when I was still in intensive care, I received messages through the hospital by my old friends wishing me well, uh, people that I've lost touch for a very long time. So uh, that made me realise that there were people out there doing all these nice things, baca doa, khatam Quran for me. So that's when I realised. Um, but I didn't, I, I, I didn't think that lots of people knew about it, but um, it's good in a way, especially my family when they heard that lots of people come together, baca yasin, um, smay hajat. So, and I think that helped in terms of my recovery as well, in terms of doa and, um, you know, trying to help me get better and to motivate me to, to recover as well. Dr. Ton Muzamal Wildan said he is extremely lucky to survive the virus. He is recovering well and getting stronger each day. He plans to bring his wife and two small children to see his family in Shah Alam Selangor at the end of this year. Haliza Hashim for 7 edition, Birmingham.